Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Snapshot Let's Play. So we're on episode two. There's a skelly bob dying outside. Just gonna make sure everything's going smooth while I wait for that. So the sun's coming up. Um, the uh, first part of the video has actually been uploaded right now. It's starting to process, so I'm recording this the next day. Um, so hopefully everyone's going to enjoy the first part. Well, enjoyed the first part because by the time this one's up, the first one will all be up, all to be up already. So. And it would have been a day, you know, so yeah, hopefully it's all been good, everyone's been enjoying it. So today's objective is gonna go get some ores. Um so we're gonna use a few torches. I might go and grab a bit more wood so we can make some more charcoal. Oh, hello, let me out. There we go. Make sure nothing's gonna drop on me. There's a bone, I'm gonna get that. Bit of fertilizer. Uh, excuse me if I sound a bit out of breath, I've just done my uh, workout thing. So, <laughs> I'm quite just uh, run out of breath doing it, so, you know, a bit huffy puffy at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone's alright. How are you today? Hopefully everyone's all good. Oh, um, but yeah, I was thinking about um, also, like adding th possible adding things to Minecraft. I think one of the things that would be really good is real-time lighting from um, from torches. So, you know, there is a couple of mods that do it as well. So basically what happens is you, you know, you make a torch and then you hold it like this and you get real-time light. So instead of having to place it down, you can carry it with you. It's, it's quite a good mod. I think it's something that could definitely be implemented into like a single, you know, into the vanilla game be pretty cool. See how fast that grew then? It's magical. Um, but yeah, it would definitely be an excellent thing to put in. Maybe we should get on to get uh, speaking to Jeb and see what he thinks about it, because he does reply to a lot of people, so he's a, he's a nice guy. Uh, so what else do we need? We need... I'll make another pickaxe. Um, the shovel, we'll take the shovel and oh, some planks, some sticks would be helpful. And I think that's it. So, yeah, we want to get some ores because you know we're running, we're not doing very well as of yet. I know it's only the second episode though, so you know we can't be expected to have so much stuff. Uh, so get an XP now for our. Um, melting things and stuff, as in, as from the new um, snapshot 22, I believe. So the last week's one. Oh, oh, but well, look at this! Look at this! This have, could have not gone any better. Right, okay, what I'm going to do? Put some torches down, just to stop anything spawning from each side. Crikey, that's a long way down. Um. So, you know, this is a totally random seed. And I'll just grab the actual... There you go. If you if you want to play this one, you can uh, pause the old video and use the seed. But, yeah, it's excellent so far. You know, you've got ores pretty much straight away. I think this, you know, getting the XP from the ores and things will be probably nerfed a little bit later on because this is no word of a lie. I spent two hours on my normal Let's Play world, going from scratch, and I spent probably, oh, I don't know, probably about an hour and 15 minutes mining, just because I love to get ores and stuff, and I got to level 170. That is no word of a lie. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's probably it's way overpowered. So that will probably be nerfed within the next couple of snapshots. Um, but you know you get it for smelting, for mining, and then also your normal combat and things like that. So you know it's really easy to get XP now, which is good in a way, I suppose, because it's very difficult to get otherwise. But yeah, just a little bit too powerful, I feel. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. But yeah, there's going to be a big change when people update to 1.3 from 
if they haven't used any of the snapshots, it's going to be a big load of changes. The way worlds load and you know the caves and ender chests and all that stuff. It's going to be absolutely insane the amount of stuff. People will get really overwhelmed, I think. But you know, a lot of new things is quite nice, so... It needs to be new stuff to enjoy vanilla. Excuse me, and there's that horrible cave noise that I hate. More iron. Hiccups, pardon me. It's because I had a drink before I started this. And I probably took too much air in. That's how you get hiccups, if you didn't know. You're taking too much air when you swallow. Uh -uh. Make your own jokes. Look at this, look at the amount of ores. It's absolutely ridiculous. Very cool. Um, so, we're going to be set for life for iron. And, you know, it's quite a nice little natural cave system as well, so... Easy enough to get back out of. He says. Hoping. <laughs> How cool is this, though? So, yeah, set your objectives, anything you have for me, um, in the comment box below. Um, and I shall, you know, implement them as soon as I possibly can. The thing about this new series is where I've got quite a lot of work on from next week, because I'm on a week holiday, um, it's going to be difficult doing uploads and stuff, so I'll probably record two episodes in a day, so then that allows me to, you know, have an episode pre-recorded so I don't have to do one every day, you know, when work is difficult to do so. Why am I using a spade on that? Let's implement the little clicky button on the mouse to stop that from happening. There we go. So, you know, sugar, um, it's not sh yeah, sugar canes to make paper is what we're going to need to do if we want to, um, this is the end of the cave system by the looks of it. If we want to, um, get enchantments, we're going to need obsidian as well, so we're going to need a diamond pickaxe. Exactly the same as what I've been doing in my own world, to be perfectly honest. I'm trying to get... Um, as that's been nerfed as well, so it's gone up to maximum level 30 now instead of 50. So, you know, I'm almost at maximum enchantment level, which is quite cool in a way, but... It leaves a bit... You know, it makes it all a lot easier. Possibly too easy, who knows? But, you know... We'll see in the future weeks what happens with that. Let's get this. Must have quite a bit now. 55 coal, 299, that's pretty good. It's very good. So, I'm going to go and deposit this. Because losing it would not be very good. Our jungle tree has grown. Our renewable source. Tell you what, we'll take divide that into three. There you go. Take 14 to put in there. And we'll take the iron ore to be smelting while we are away. Uh scrabble. Do we want any more torches? Yeah, we just want to make some more. One, two. So it'd be four, wouldn't it? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I get so many? I think I did it one way around, didn't I? I don't know what happened. I'm just a bit silly. Right. There we go. Don't want to make that many sticks, but no matter. So we've got lots of cobble, lots of stuff. We could probably make an iron pickaxe, couldn't we? Take that with us. Uh, I need two of those. We've got um, swords with cave for health at the moment. I'll take a chicken. Imagine taking a whole chicken when you go out exploring. Especially if one of those, one of those like oven cooked ones. I love iron. Iron cooked. <laughs> oven cooked. Um, oven cooked chicken. What you get from the super supermarket or the store, you know, just, they have that like rotisserie thing. 
that spins them around. Spit roast. <laughs> well, not quite spit roast, but. Um, okay, if we light this area up, then hopefully we'll be able to get back safely without any mobs on our ass. Um, so I think the best call of action is to go down this way because um, it has that drop and considering there's no other we can click these torches back if we need to but there's no other way you know because it's blocked off down the other side so we'll uh, do a spiral staircase to put a couple of signs down there later on to remind myself that it's a sheer drop well, it's not sheer, but you know, it's quite steep, so it's a bit dangerous. So, into the belly of the beast. Um, ah, that's not too bad. We do this and then down that one. We can do this. That's cool. Let's get that as well. Let's use this one just to do it for the essence of time. Essence of crab. If you can. Tell me what films that is from, then you are absolutely superb. Essence of Crab. There's a great one of series, great set of films, I think, as well. So there's a hint. It was a set of films. I won't say how many, but it's one of the most popular series of films ever made was originally a book as like most films now like Watchmen um, Hunger Games Lord of the Rings and we've got another dead end oh, balls okay okay so what level are we at we're at level 45 that's nowhere near what we want to be on we want to be on about 12 so I reckon we should just do a little, uh... Oh, that sounds rather close. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, I was going to just, you know, dig straight down, but... We've got a cave system here, so... Or shall we dig straight down? Hmm. Well, not straight down, but, you know, doing like a... Staircase kind of thing. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Don't you push me, water. Um, yeah, let's go straight down, I think, for now. Let's pop that back so he can't make his way through. Uh, we'll go down this side, then we can always use this bit and walk along there as well. So this pickaxe will not last very much longer, but no matter. Actually, I've got another one on our person. Do, do, do. There we go. What I want to don't want to do is hit that water source. But we should be deep enough to uh, avoid it. Oh god, another drop. Um, no problem. We can patch it up. Get rid of this. So it looks like it goes. Yeah, it goes back on ourselves. That's okay. This like this. Uh just trying to see what's up there. Nothing much I think. What I would do for safety is block this area off. Like so. Okay, that's cool. And then we can go down here. Oh, this is what I hate when we've got multiple paths so we can things can go in. This is when we get lost. Not a good television show, Lost. Den 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 cool. So, we're in the belly of the beast. I wanna guess I wanna say about level Level 28, 25 maybe. We 
not far enough yet, I don't think, to get to dining. Let's have a look in a sec once I've gathered all this. And plonked down a torch. Carrying wood down there would be an idea as well. Um, 28, yeah. That's, that's it, roughly that, isn't it? So we want to go down. Oh no, this is the back of where I've just been. <laughs> would you believe it? Oh no, hang on. It's just another way around, isn't it? So let's go to the right, see what we've got down there. Let's grab all this as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think about length of videos as well. So for some reason, Premiere Pro just kind of shot up with how long it, how much space it takes up for a, an average video. Because the Skybot videos were about 20 minutes long and they came out about 380 meg. But now it's coming out at about like 450, which is a bit strange. But um, Downwards, I think. Oh, so they're both going to the same bit. That's okay. It's not too much of a problem. Uh, in fact, I think I should block this bit off and go downwards once more. Um, to make it even easier to see, I'm just going to knock this wall through so you can see it's one thing. Make it a lot easier to get your bearings. Dun, 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 dun. Sweet. Dun, 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 dun. So it's probably still night time now, so in the time where I should be sleeping. Um but I'm not, obviously. Okay, uh, let's go down this way. More zombies. Oh no, don't use that on that. People will get angry. <laughs> oh, and again. It's gonna drop. Pick that up. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now uh, there's some more coal, but we've got quite a lot, so I won't bother with that. Yes. Come on. I don't want a cave system now. That's what I don't really want to bump into one. Just because strip mining makes it easier. In a way, because you don't have tons of mobs on you. And they sound incredibly loud right now, so without a doubt I'm going to smash through to a cave or something in a minute. It's re actually ridiculously loud. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a dungeon. That kind of volume. We haven't got many torches left. We must be getting low now. Yeah, layer 8. I thought so. In that case, let's do a bit of strip mining. Oh god, this is not what I wanted to happen. Uh, okay, so in that case we go a different way. Simple. This way. Lava is a dangerous... dangerous uh, entity. And it's too dangerous for the mortal human. Now this is dangerous as well. <laughs> Risky. But in this case, safe. Hopefully. Yeah, cool. Okay. Hmm. 19 minutes in now, apparently. Redstone. Yes. As soon as we can get some diamonds and obsidian, we can get ourselves a enchantment table. And then we can get some, like, unbreaking and um, all those kind of enchantments. Speed. Um, oh crap. Balls. Safe, maybe? No, not in the slightest. Get that block, there we go. Right, okay, we have to take another route. So let's go this way. Um, actually, this is going to be heading straight back to it. 
took my breath away. That did. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four. Holy crap. Five, six, seven, eight diamonds. The maximum. Oh, the maximum possible. How about that? That is one way to end this episode. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank, thank, thank you, Shah. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, means a lot. All these views and stuff. So really appreciate that. It's that way, all those mobs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take these diamonds back. Hopefully get back home safe. And we're rolling right now. To be perfectly honest, we're ver doing very well. So yes, uh, thank you all for watching. And I shall see you all tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.